So at this particular point, there's probably quite a few ways I could set up this impact analysis. I'm going to show one of our um, one of our newer features, the automated impact analysis, and that's supported through one um, a custom tool. These are APIs that either come with installation of PMAP, um, or some are um, some of the newer ones are scripts that we've written here at NEI. Um, if you ever see any uh, any custom tool or API that we uh, that we use in a video or demo, go ahead and ask us for it. So the one that I want to use is the one called the uh, Impact Generate here. I'm going to first uh, make sure that I have an analysis that created, and then let's go back into that custom tool. So I'm going to do a custom tool um, impact generate, select node on projectile. So I can click on any node in this part, hit OK. Uh, my vector is 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, minus 1. And I'm going to input in my, uh, my impact velocity. Um, 264 inches per second is about um, 50 miles an hour, and that's really all that is needed for a uh, for a first run. Um, some of these other options that I could set up here: the t delta is um, my uh, my time step duration. If I don't put anything in here, the solver will actually look at the modes of vibration and try to calculate a uh, um, a suitable time step for you that way. Um, the T total is total duration of the impact analysis. Um, if you have a good idea of how long you want to solve for, this is also something you can use to, to fine tune your run. Um, at this point, I don't really have a good idea, so I'm just going to leave both of those empty.